And this is the most important thing to me. So what we're seeing on this is just a continued kind of stay within the channel type pattern. We have that, we have the high end, we have the low end, we have the high end, and what did we hit right there? The high end. Now, if we push up above this, that's another story, and that's around 53.3, I think, is the upper range here now. But right now, I'm just keeping an eye. This could be considered a little bit of bullish consolidation, so we'll have to monitor that. Now, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I'm keeping an eye on, right? Where am I getting concerned, or where would I really think that there's a lot more downside? In this video, Gareth Soloway shares his insights focusing on Ethereum's recent positive performance. He emphasizes its outperformance compared to other cryptocurrencies and discusses how he analyzed the chart to identify key resistance and support levels for Ethereum. He also delves into the Bitcoin chart, highlighting the channel pattern in place since 2022 and why he views the $49,000 level as crucial for both bulls and bears. Additionally, Soloway covers Avalanche and its bear flag pattern, explaining the levels he's monitoring for potential breakout or breakdown. Join Gareth in this interview as he explores these topics and more. Before we continue with the rest of the video, do check out daily 5-minute crypto newsletter with all the latest crypto and Bitcoin news. It's a fantastic analysis of on-chain crypto data and breakdowns, and the best part is it's absolutely free. They'll cover expert predictions, breakdowns of on-chain crypto data, and any breaking news you need to know, all in a nutshell. Click the first link in the description and enter your email to join over 50,000 others in becoming a better crypto investor right now. All right, a couple other charts I want to just show you in the crypto markets. I do want to show you this chart of Ethereum. So Ethereum's finally getting some love. And what I mean by that is you're actually seeing this outperform a majority of the other cryptocurrencies, right? So just looking at this chart here, we can see that we had a channel and the channel was doing everything you'd expect it to do from the lows here, kind of almost came to the highs there, back to the lows. We then tagged the high, we had the big pullback, and then we've broken out. Now, you do have a couple levels of resistance. The first one is right in this range right here with this pivot. That's right at the 3,000 level. I do think you're going to pierce that level, right? I mean, it just makes a whole lot of sense. In fact, it almost looks like we might have at least touched it today. It looks like the high was 3,002, so it looks like we just pierced that. Even numbers can sometimes work as resistance, so we got to monitor that. If it gets through that, you have 3,300 as your next resistance, okay? Now, the only thing is a bear, if you're looking at what's going to make you more conservative, whether you're bullish or bearish, what do you not want to see? As a, as a bull, you don't want to see us break below this channel and get back inside of this longer channel. So again, watch that 2800 level on the charts. That is going to be the key level. Ethereum has been surpassing other cryptocurrencies both in terms of price and adoption, largely due to its advantageous position within the growing sectors of decentralized finance and non-fungible tokens. On February 16th, 2024, Ethereum hit a new all-time high of $486, marking a remarkable 25% increase in just one week. This surge underscored the strength of Ethereum's network activity and on-chain metrics, signaling significant demand and usage for the second largest cryptocurrency. All right, guys, we are back right into Bitcoin. I know everyone wants to know everything about Bitcoin here. So a couple things on Bitcoin. Number one, we've had this nice move up. We know we got to this 50 to 52,000 range. It seems to be holding at least as of now. For me, the most important thing, and again, I have this other yellow line here. I'm actually going to delete it because I think the more important factor on this is honestly just the, um, the, wet, the channel pattern, right? So if we zoom out on this pattern here, and we just, let me refresh this right here. And this is the most important thing to me. So what we're seeing on this is just a continued kind of stay within the channel type pattern. We have that, we have the high end, we have the low end, we have the high end. And what did we hit right there? The high end. Now, if we push up above this, that's another story. And that's around 53.3, I think, is the upper range here now. But right now, I'm just keeping an eye. This could be considered a little bit of bullish consolidation. So we'll have to monitor that. But ultimately, I want to see, do we kind of continue up and we retest this upper channel line? Or do we have the failure of the pattern, which then would denote a retrace? Now, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I'm keeping an eye on, right? Where am I getting concerned or where would I really think that there's a lot more downside? This level here, what you always do is you look at the former major high pivot. And if you, as a, as a bull or a bear, doesn't really matter, as just someone of a studier of the charts, if you see price starting to come down and you start to see daily closes below 49,000 right here, 
that would be a warning sign as a technician, okay? That would be a very, very big warning sign as a technician. As long as you stay up in this upper range, there's always a chance we go retest, potentially even going a little bit higher. But breaking below this area, which again is around 49,000, that would be problematic for the charts on Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been stuck in a tight trading range, fluctuating between $50,000 and $52,000, encountering resistance from sellers and profit taking. A potential breakout could occur if Bitcoin surpasses the $52,000 mark, paving the way for a rally towards $55,000 and $60,000. Conversely, a drop below the $50,000 support level could trigger a correction, leading to further declines towards $48,000 and $46,000 as the next potential targets. All right, on we go to just a couple more charts here in this morning's game plan. Of course, we got to touch on gold. I love the price action in gold just over the last couple days. We can see again, look at this nice little move up here right off of this little level here. All right, now again, for me, one of the things I follow on gold, so I follow what the central banks are doing. The central banks are buying gold hand over fist. I follow what the retail crowd is doing. The retail crowd is super, super, super underinvested in gold, all right, in gold miners. Those are two disparities. When you see kind of what we would consider the smartest of smart money, which is the, the players that basically control the system, they're the ones buying gold, and you see retail investors underexposed, that makes me very, very bullish overall. And you guys know I've been bullish on gold. So ultimately, we have this area here, right? We just came down and retested it last week. We're now pushing up. Short term, I'm looking for this level around 2050 to get taken out. If that gets taken out, this 2075 level, which is that previous kind of line that goes back to 2020, that is your level. Now, we did pierce it over here. That was a split second, about a 10-minute pierce. And when the futures had just opened on a Sunday night, somewhat inconsequential. But what you're looking for is not just a pierce. I want to see a daily close, at least three of them, above that trend line. We get three daily closes above this 2075. It's off to the races, in my opinion, and you're going to see a lot of catch-up trades, a lot of hedge fund managers, a lot of other players, very underinvested in gold, and there's a lot of upside that can occur there. Uh, lastly, I'll just cover Avalanche today, guys. Avalanche has been somewhat on the weaker side of things. Look at these two parallel lines, right? So we can see, again, I love my parallels. You guys know that. They work amazingly well. We kept hitting. We broke. We went to the low end. Now we went to the high end. Look at how price is getting rejected. So as a technician... First of all, this is off of this move. This is kind of a bear flag pattern, right? You have your bear flag there. But essentially, if you're looking at this, um, bear with me there. Let's get some of that out of there. But basically, what you're saying to yourself is watch this low level around 36. If 36 breaks to the downside, you're likely heading back to the 28 level. On the other side, if you can get through, let's say, 44 to 45, you then could then test the $50 high right up there. All right. So again, my goal here is to give you that kind of both sides, you know, whether I'm long or short the the, the trade uh, or even not even in it. I do want to give both sides so we can view both sides of the bull case and the bear case, where to be concerned, where to think that it could continue to go up. Where's your breakout level? Where's your breakdown level? For more Daily Dose crypto news, check out these two awesome videos on your screen. Click now and we will see you on the next video.